Planetary stations happen when the planet is either about to stop its forward movement and begin to go backwards for some period of time, or the other way around, it has been going backward for quite a while, and then it comes to a stop so that it can begin to move forward. Now, of course, most of you will probably know that planets never go backward in their celestial orbits. Can you imagine what a circus it would be out there in the solar system if planets did that kind of thing? Well, they don't, of course. They are always moving forward to complete their circular orbit around the sun. But what happens is the Earth's motion makes it appear the planet is moving backward for a period of time. This is somewhat similar to being on a train next to another train that is also moving forward. But if your train speeds up, the other one looks like it's moving backward. So the whole thing is an illusion. It's not real motion. It's apparent motion. But because astrology is calculated geocentrically, or even more to the point, with you as the center, that's the way things appear to be. And remarkably, that is the way the effects take place in our bodies and minds and in our life circumstances. In any case, astrologically speaking, the importance of the station, the stop and turnaround point, is that it tends to greatly amplify the energy of the planet. If it is a difficult planet, and especially if it is also making a challenging aspect from wherever it is making a station, this aspect could be a square or an opposition and sometimes a conjunction, then difficult, troublesome situations are going to emerge. This month we are all experiencing a Saturn station which will be precisely exact in the early morning hours of this coming Sunday, May 23rd at 13 degrees and 31 minutes Aquarius. Any planet that relates to those degrees by conjunction, square or opposition comes under Saturn pressure. And it's one thing to say that in the chart of any individual dealing with such will experience a period of challenge as a problem or problems appear that are more difficult than usual to solve. But what tends to be far more problematic is when you might be a public figure with worldly responsibilities, or even because your momentum, or your karma, has brought you to this point, so that situations can arise that feel like accountability and payback, as Saturn, due to its extra heavy presence in the sky, comes by to collect past dues. If this is happening to you, my recommendation is get to work and do your best to solve the problem. And realize that even though it's difficult, three things are true. One, if it's a serious enough issue, you probably have no choice but to work on it. Secondly, realize this is the stuff of life. And simply by trying, you aren't just building a better future in the days, weeks, months, and years ahead. You are also adding energy and wisdom to your character, which will always be immensely helpful later. And third, if all else fails or even if you are working on it but feel frustrated because you wonder if the pressure will ever end, the answer is it will. As Saturn moves from the 23rd of May into the mid-June, it will slowly but surely recede in its pressure and you are going to feel better. This is also known as the waiting it out method and believe me, I've applied it plenty of times in my life. I will be posting short videos in which I feature a series of well-known people currently being affected by this station. You see, the effects often begin to occur before the station is exact, as well as afterwards. So even though the peak moment is the 23rd of May, in that sense, you could say most of May and into mid-June still counts as the Saturn station. So basically, a lot of the news you're currently hearing, even though a week away from the station, in certain individuals is precisely because of the station. I'm going to make these videos even shorter than my usual videos, and I hope you will enjoy them.